guys, welcome back to the channel. Chris with Dirt Road Life, and uh, I'm sitting here with my uh, new to me John Deere 317 skid steer. This is a 2005 or 2006, I can't remember which, but it is the pre emissions model. This is a 60 horse um, skid steer. It has the John Deere 2.5 liter um, diesel engine in it, turbo diesel, which I believe was the last year of the John Deere engine before they switched to the Yanmar engine. Um, both very good motors uh, from what I understand and I went down to Shirleysburg, Pennsylvania after this um, on Monday. It's Wednesday now so I've had it a couple days. I haven't really run a whole lot yet um, but uh, just give you guys a quick rundown here of what we're, uh, what we're looking at and this is going to be the start of a lot of future videos for sure and uh, projects. Um, so like I said pre-emissions 05 or 06 Deers 317 and uh, it's really pretty nice original condition. It's all original paint, um, 1800 original hours which is really low for one of these. Um, ended up, so I went down there to quality used equipment in Shirleysburg, Pennsylvania and I give these guys a big shout out. They were great to work with. Um, you know, they described everything pretty good over the phone. The only thing that I wasn't happy with when I got down there as it was advertised with a three or four in one bucket and when I got down there the bucket was in pretty rough shape. The cylinders that open up the clamshell function on the bucket were leaking both sides and um, the bucket itself where it opens up and is you basically got the dozer blade on the back and then your flat blade here that was bowed down so it really wasn't very usable for grading and stuff like that the way it was it needed in my opinion at least a thousand dollars worth of work between the seals on the on the hydraulic rams <clears throat> and the steel work that the bucket needed so i said well you guys got this cat bucket sitting there um that's a really good size for this machine what would you be able to do um you know if i didn't take the three and one four in one bucket and you gave me the cat bucket in my opinion, this was worth less um, than what I thought I was getting. And they were able to come down far enough on the price to where I felt like it was basically the same deal to, the, to what we agreed on on the phone. And both parties were happy. So really great guys down there. Um, like I said, uh, I enjoyed working with them. They went through the machine, <coughs> excuse me, they went through the machine, put new tires on uh, all four sides or both sides all four corners whatever you want to say um anyway um motor runs good it looks good looks really dry um i think i am going to go through and change at least the motor oil hydraulic oil I'll probably just do the filter um, and I'll do a fuel filter as well. They said, and it makes sense, they don't go through everything. If, 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 it, if it looks pretty good, they're not gonna go through everything because they wanna sell what at the end of the day is a affordable skid steer to somebody. So um, I'm gonna do that just because I want the peace of mind and I wanna know when it was done so that going forward, I can do everything at whatever interval I see fit or whatever interval um, deer recommends. So this machine has front and rear glass, um, which is great. It doesn't have side windows. So somebody added the front and rear glass for whatever reason. Um, the nice thing about that is if I wanted to use this for plowing snow or whatever, it doesn't have heat, but I could throw some Lex in here on each side and that's gonna keep the cab a whole lot warmer than it would with no glass or no um, side coverings on at all. So I'll take the front and rear windshield, even though it doesn't have heat, I'll take that any day. Um, that was a nice little um, surprise there. And then, uh, you know, everything seems like it's well lubed up and working good. The uh, quick attach levers there aren't seized up like they are on a lot of things um what else it's definitely you know a little bit faded and there's wear in all the right places you know where mud and stuff rubs on the uh on the paint here but i'd much rather have 
an original paint machine that you can see exactly how basically it was used than by a machine that's all repainted and you're getting a bunch of surprises that are painted over so um underneath looks really good doesn't look like it's been through any rock gardens or anything it's not all smashed up and uh it just it looks good this cab does rotate right up out of the way um so you can get to your hydraulic pump and everything down there i believe i'm not exactly sure how this is set up we'll probably see in future videos i'm sure we will actually um but uh that cab does swing up out of the way um what else am i going to do i'm going to add a little flapper i think on the exhaust it doesn't need it really um this is designed so that water will run down and it'll actually drain out this gap that's bigger than the than the exhaust pipe down here but uh I'm gonna put a flap on there just for peace of mind, I guess, when it sits out. Hydraulic hoses all look really good. They're not cracked and weather checked and all that. And that's a big deal because when you get into uh, replacing hoses, it can get expensive quick. So I've already got some attachments that'll work with this. I bought the bucket with it. Um, some people might say, well, don't you have a quick attach bucket on your quota? Yes, I do. But the difference between like this cat bucket and the bucket on my Kubota is, this is much, much heavier duty. I can go through and I can grade stuff off of this and run it in the dirt with this weight behind it all day long. And I'm not gonna bust that bucket up for a very, very long time. Whereas if I use my Kubota bucket on that, I'm gonna bend it and twist it in no time at all. So definitely need a good heavy duty skid steer bucket if you're gonna do any kind of, you know, heavy duty work with this. One thing I didn't mention, this is right around a 6,000 pound machine. Um, it can lift, I think, right around 2,000 pounds is what it's rated for. It'll lift more than that for sure. Um, but, uh, you know, that's what deer rates it at. So, so I've got a three point auger for my tractor. I'm probably gonna put that on Marketplace, put the money towards a uh, skid steer auger, just so I have the down pressure. Three point auger in the, in the rocks and stuff out here just is not, um, it's not very functional in my opinion. Um, I had <clears throat> I had a guy come up, he drilled all the holes for my fence up there, like a hundred and some posts, and he had no trouble with a skid steer auger besides in a couple spots where we hit bedrock and, and his auger just would have sat there all day and spun. But um, much more effective, and, and if not here, you know, if I ever take it on any other jobs, if somebody needs like, holes put in for a pole barn or whatever that they want to build this machine will easily do it with a skid steer auger um i have grapple forks already that function as forks or a grapple i've used that on a big job where i removed a ton of brush um like four or five acres of brush uh, at a farm in Caton. Um, so this machine will run that attachment no problem I mean, the possibilities are pretty much endless with these. You, you can buy concrete mixers, you can get, you know, backhoe attachments for the front with downriggers and everything. Um, you can get ditch witches, you can get, you name it. I mean, brushes, whatever you want. You can get it for this machine. Harley rakes, um, what do you call it? The lawn, the rock hounds, so you can actually go out and groom a yard before you plant grass seed. And the nice thing is, even if I don't have the attachment and own it personally, now that I have the machine, I can go right down to the rental place and pretty much get any attachment I want for this. And I've got the expensive piece of machinery sitting right here, and I'm just paying to borrow their piece of uh, machinery for a few days. So that's awesome about this. So I think it's gonna be a great unit around the farm. It comes with, it, it came with, uh, set of grouser tracks i think they're called um, which is basically steel over the tire tracks so i'm going to put those on in the next couple weeks make sure that they're you know good to go and i don't need any parts or anything for them to use them um, other than that you know i want to get like a brush hog or something for it eventually i might end up building one uh we'll see and then another th project i think i'm definitely going to do is um convert my three point wood splitter that I bought off my cousin a few years ago to a skid steer um, wood splitter. 
basically I'm going to flip it over and then I can just pull up to a big chunk of wood. You guys have seen some of the boiler wood that I have out there that I have chunked up. <clears throat> I'll be able to pull up to it. I can put a four-way wedge on it, no problem. And I can just set the splitter down over it and, and uh, split that piece of wood. So this thing's going to be awesome. Uh, I really can't wait to use it on uh, some jobs outside. It's kind of snowy outside. Uh, I'm not going to plow um, tonight or I'd take this out and probably plow with it, but it, we're getting like small bit of ice and, and sleet and all that nasty stuff but uh but it's going to be 50 degrees tomorrow so there's zero sense in, in plowing and the ground's soft as can be so i just tear everything out but um i'm i'm really excited about this and you guys are going to see this in a ton of videos going forward um it's going to give my Kubota a little bit of a break hope you guys stick around for future videos because this thing's going to be super awesome um so about the giveaway. I want to give away a shirt, a hat, and a hoodie. And I got all three made, they're actually on the way. Um, so let's see, how do I wanna do this? All right, the first comment gets a hat, second comment gets a hoodie, and the third comment gets a shirt. So um, three of you guys are gonna win something. No, you can't comment three times in a row or twice in a row. It's gotta be separate comments, so. Um, Comment on the video and we'll get together um, and I'll ship you guys out whatever you want. That's it, that's it for this video. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, huge help for the channel. And um, this thing's gonna be the star of a lot of future vids, like I said, so make sure you kinda stay tuned for that. But um, really appreciate you guys watching. You got me over the thousand subscriber milestone that I was, um, shooting for when I started this channel. So I really appreciate that. Uh, lots of support from you guys and I wouldn't do it, obviously, if people weren't watching. So very thankful that you guys are uh, liking the vids and um, hopefully lots more in the future. So um, again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.